Hi guys, it's me, I'm Nafid. In this video, we will move on and to part number five, and we will continue testing authentication on Aruba OS, which is wide authentication. Now, that would be multiple authentication. So in the previous video, we talked about .1x auth. In this case, we will combine the Mac authentication and .1x authentication. And we will verify that if the client is not able to perform .1x, they can perform Mac. If they perform Mac and .1x authentication, then Mac authentication happens on these switches first, and then .1x authentication will override the Mac authentication. So in this, we will look at how to configure the switch with multi-authentication methods, including accounting. We'll look at the clear path and how to create a Mac authentication service. We will then create an enforcement profile that will push the VLAN for the Mac authentication. And we will create enforcement policy. We'll modify the service, which is the Mac authentication, to include that authentication, to include that enforcement policy. And we will test the authentication. Let's have a look. So we will enable uh, Mac authentication because we have uh, .1x authentication already enabled on uh, interface 5. This is the one that connects to the client. So if you so if you issue the command show run interface 5, this is .1x authentication and these are some parameters you configure. So now we will do two things. We will enable Mac authentication as well as we will enable accounting. So there will be multiple authentication methods on one interface and accounting. We can see details of the client traffic and so on. So we will first of all enable Mac authentication. Now we will enable accounting. We'll make it five. And we would like to see um, accounting network start stop. So the option start, you can do start only or start stop. And that's for the radius. Now um, we have configured the radius server, configured the authentication based on dot one X for the port five. We have configured Mac authentication. We have configured accounting. Now the radius we have defined um, is basically um, on the default radius group called radius. We have not created any other radius group. Again, the discussion is not about the radius, but at least to give you an idea, how the switch is configured uh, with basic radius configuration. There are multiple more options. You can show um, server group radius. It will show me that the group name, which is default, is called radius. We have not created any other group. And we have configured the radius server inside that group. So all other options, we will um, configure accounting or Mac authentication or .1x authentication, you don't have to mention the group name because that's a default group, basically. So we can now show run interface five. You can see that we have added AAA port access Mac base. So now there are two authentication methods, .1x authentication on the interface and Mac base authentication. We will go now to the clear pass and configure the service for the Mac authentication. Um, before that, just to um, ensure that we understand the switch, we have multiple VLANs on the switch. That will be VLAN 66 should um, the client authenticate with Mac authentication. VLAN 60 if the client authenticates with a certain username 
which is local to the clay pass, just an example. And VLAN 61 if dot one x authentication succeeds and the user was fetched from Active Directory. So these are the three different VLANs. Notice VLAN 66 is not assigned. So if you look at um, show VLAN port 5 detail, you'll find it's been assigned VLAN 60 because there's a client connected now to, to that, um, uh, to that um, interface and authenticated. Show port access authenticator, you will find there's an authenticated client here. But if you show run interface 5, you will notice the interface 5 has been configured with VLAN 1. And VLAN 60 was assigned because of the authentication. And you can clearly see um, show authenticator client detail if you like. Client. And we can see the client test user that is authenticated. What other options do we have? Yeah, that's the number five detail. So it will be the same value. So it says port number five authenticated. The client is test user, of course, and some other details. The VLAN that was assigned VLAN 60 as per the policy on clay pass. This is just a revision of what we have done in the previous um, video. We will continue um, building on what we have done previously. So in clay pass, I already created the service, but I'll show you um, how that works basically. You go to the configuration and we go to service. We have created this service manually. So you're going to create, add a new service and we're going to go Mac authentication. So that Mac authentication service would give you these conditions. Now this is valid for both wireless and wired, as you can clearly see. Now in the service that we have created, simply speaking, this is the one that I have created, Mac based authentication. And I left wireless as is, but I'd like to show you that you can remove the wireless if you would like to, or and add, just leave the wired. So you can say, um, the NAS, um, so this is wired and wireless. We're going to just remove this because we're going to make this one only for the wired. So radius, we're going to go NAS type equals 15. 15 means Ethernet only, just. So this service is only good for Ethernet connection. We can save or just move on. In the authentication, we will look at the endpoint repository. And in the role, we leave it as is. We will talk about this in other uh, video. In the enforcement, by default, they will give you sample enforcement, sample allow access. What I've done, I created an enforcement profile policy. I call it MAC authentication or MAC enforcement policy. That MAC enforcement policy, if you go to the policies, if you go to, I'm going to save this one, but if you go to policies and the one I have created is Mac authentication or Mac enforcement policy, that enforcement policy has very simple conditions. So this is just to prove as or to demonstrate that when a Mac authentication happens, I can assign a VLAN simply. No distinction between any, there are no other condition apart from Mac authentication in this service is an extremely simple one. And um, you're going to create an enforcement profile. That enforcement profile that I have created is about the VLAN assignment. So if you look at the name and the enforcement the type is radius and it's about assigning VLAN. So this is the VLAN. I give a name as wide Mac VLAN 66. And the way I created this one simply you just go here and here you go. Um, VLAN enforcement and in the VLAN enforcement you give it a name obviously and then in the attribute this will list you the attribute you edit this and we in our case will be VLAN 66 will be assigned and once we do this you're happy with that you will give it a name and then that would result in our um, 
in our uh, enforcement profile, the action, we say we will assign VLAN 66. Now in the enforcement policy, which puts the condition to take certain action, we have created wired authenticate enforcement policy that the conditions or the rule says, if connection is from a client that is equal to the username, so the client MAC address equals the username. It means anyone who authenticates with a MAC authentication, the username is the MAC address of the client. Assign that action. Take this action, which is assign VLAN 66. And we're done with this. So we will test two cases. Case number one, when the client doesn't have any uh, authentication. So the client connects and there's no authentication built into the wired connection. And then what happens? We should expect VLAN 66 to be assigned to that client. And then we will enable dot one x authentication. And we're going to notice that MAC authentication will take place initially. Then it will be overwritten or overridden by the dot one x authentication. So on the client right now, we're going to go and disable MAC authentication here. So um, in the authentication tab, we could just disable everything, but we just chose to make it easy. No dot one x authentication performed here. And we're going to bounce the switch interface. So um, in this case, so that's the client is, um, and then I disabled Mac authentication. And I am going to, on that switch, I'm going to bounce the interface number five. So I'm going to say interface. So I'm going to say interface five disable, and then the, I enable logs uh, log debugging here. Then I'm going to go interface five enable. So the client now is not performing any dot one x authentication. It's now online. We should expect VLAN sixty six to be assigned to the client. So we can issue the command show port. That is VLAN 66. The reason for this, if we look at clear pass access tracker, you're going to see MAC authentication, but not the one next authentication. That's the time. So here the output says assign VLAN 66. And you see the input here in the radius request. It tells you details. The client called station ID, which is a switch. Um, Mac calling station ID is the client Mac address and the username for that is the client Mac address you can see this is the client Mac and that's the client Mac and in this case um, the authentication will happen and it will send back um, the VLAN assignment so the computed attributes here you're going to see the NAS so the NAD IP address is the switch IP. And the source IP is the switch IP because that's, there's no proxying here. So that's now that's case number one. Assume the client is able to perform dot one X authentication. So what will happen? So the client unknowingly has been Mac authenticated. The client doesn't know that the switch will automatically pick up the Mac address of the client and it will perform MAC authentication. So if we go here and we go to authentication tab, enable this one. Now depends on, as per our policy, depends on the user. So if we use a corporate user, we call the employee. That should assign VLAN 61 to the client on that interface. So if you look into um, the switch interface you are going to see you're going to see that the client has been assigned VLAN 61 now and if you look at the client um, here it's employee and on clear pass we have seen now two authentications or the client has performed Mac um, dot one X authentication and dot one X authentication is performed here of course there's an output it says 61 we have enabled accounting so we can see some sort of traffic network util details uh, utilization how much uh, if there's any um, and so on accounting session detail 
the time and so on. Of course, for the traffic utilization, it needs a bit of time to show up because there's no much really data now yet. Okay, so this is when the client authenticates right now. And if we, um, because we haven't bounced um, the switch actually, because uh, bec we haven't bounced the switch, the, the client did not, or the switch did not perform MAC authentication. We haven't bounced uh, the uh, port. So if I issue the, if I, if I bounce the port now, the client will perform both. MAC authentication will be then dot one X and will be overridden by the dot one X setting. So if I say interface five, disable interface five enable we're going to see on clear pass that we have two authentications that happen one being mac authentication one being an employee so um, in this case um, we can see this have a look yeah employee so this is the time just few seconds between them and again this was supposed to assign vlan 66 but then the dot one x authentication happens afterwards and that the input or the output was vlan 61 if we uh, double check here um, that should have been vlan 61 um, in here so show uh, port access authenticator should be vlan 61 and that is what is expected if we authenticate with a different client username that this will change from vlan 61 to vlan 60. and that proves um you know what we can control of course there are a lot of other things that we can do but this is a very simple uh, demonstration of mac authentication that can be performed along uh, with the dot one x authentication in this video, we have discussed uh, the multiple authentication methods on Aruba OS Switch. Thank you for watching the video, and we will see you in the future videos. Thank you.